in this section we'll be learning how to create multiple database take for instance you have web projects from different clients where this client might be requesting for an e-commerce website the next client might be requesting for a publishing company website the next client might be requesting for a crypto website it's advisable that you create separate database and project folders for each of these clients all right so how do you do that right you go to the folder that contains your wordpress files all right so right here you open the folder this is the process we've done before you highlight everything by pressing ctrl a all right then you right click here you click on copy all right take note that we are not copying the wordpress folder we are copying the content in the wordpress all right after that you go to your pc here you click on your pc you locate your local storage then you locate the folder called wamp all right you open the folder you go to your www here you open the folder here then right here you're going to create a new project all right so you right click here you over your mouse where you have new then you click on folder all right so right here you can call this folder anything but let me call this project two all right then you hit the enter key here now you're going to open that particular folder and you paste the wordpress content here all right after creating uh this particular project folder the next thing you do is to create database and user for this particular project how do you do that you go back to your browser here you open a new tab local host all right so you go to php my admin here you click on that now this was the first database we created all right so we're going to create a new database here we we'll click on new all right now right here we'll call this web 2 here right so let's open our notepad here so let's call this database name 2 so let's call this web 2 right so after that you click on create here right we have created a database here the next thing is to create a user for this database so right here we'll click on privileges and we'll click on add new user here right so the username here you can call it anything but right here i'll call this is that two so let's go back to our notepad here so let's call this database username call this is a two all right then under the host name here click on local host then the password here let's call this user two password right we repeat that here is that two password so let's go back to our notepad here and let's add that password so let's call this user two password right so after that you scroll down and you click on check global privileges right so after that you click on the go here right so we have successfully created a new database and a new user all right so let's connect our wordpress to the user all right so how do we do that local host forward slash the name of our project project two forward slash wp admin all right right so right here we we'll select english as our language we we'll click on continue here right so we we'll click on let's go so this way we we'll get to enter the database name the username and the like so let's go back to our notepad here um the database name here is web2 we'll copy that here paste that here then the username here is user2 right then the password here is user2 password all right so you leave this as local host you leave this as wp underscore then you click on submit here all right then you click on run the installation so right here let's open our notepad again and let's call this our wordpress information let's call this two all right so here we have site type two so let's call this my website my second website all right so under the username here 
let's call this user w2 right then under the password here let's call this um let's call this wordpress pass 2 all right so let's grab this and let's fill in let's copy this here paste that here our username here copy that so paste that here then our password here is this we'll grab that here paste that here to v all right we we'll check this and you enter any suitable email of your choice so right here select this now you leave this blank then you click on install wordpress all right now right here you click on login so we're going to log into the second dashboard so let's copy our credentials here username is user w2 paste that here the password here is um wordpress pass 2 copy that here paste that here all right so click on login here all right right so it's going to create a new dashboard for us right so this was the first dashboard we had now this is the second dashboard this is very very important so you can do this for as many clients that you have all right so if you are having lots of web projects this is a way you can create multiple database you can go as far as creating 10 to 20 database in your wordpress all right so in the next session here we'll be learning how to enhance our warm server to function with wordpress see you at the next section